In this video, we are looking at some more Timu products. Are they any good? So Timu, after our last video, let me have some more products to review for y'all. Now, I don't know, you let me know in the comments. I feel like they're gonna keep sending me products as long as I do these reviews. And my question to you, is these Timu videos gonna get old? It looks like I would do probably one Timu video a month. Let me know if you're okay with that in the description box because you're the reason I'm here and if you don't want to see them, then I don't want to produce them. So you tell me what your thoughts. So they sent me some more products. I got, I picked some things that I feel like would be great for the RV and I wanted to give you my thoughts on them. Now the first one, I, maybe I should have read a little bit more or something. I really thought this was the little mini blender that I've been seeing everywhere, but it is not. It is not the rechargeable mini blender that I was thinking. Because when I first did the review on this, I put ice in it and every time I pushed the button, it stopped. It like died. And I thought something is just not right. Well, then I went back and read this is a juicer. You're supposed to be able to fill it with fruit and then it blends the fruit. And I did put some fruit in here and it did work. It didn't clog up like it did when I put the ice. It did not like me putting ice in here at all. It's still wet from me using it. I'm gonna just be honest with you. This was not my favorite thing. And I think more of the fact because I thought that it was going to make smoothies, but it doesn't make ones with ice. This one is a thin toilet bowl brush, and I have one that I had got off of Amazon. I love it in the camper. It has been great because it is really super thin and it stays out of the way. While this one looks a lot like that one, the only thing that I don't like about this one, it's open on the bottom. So the water and stuff, would be on the floor where the other one is all self-contained so if i do want to clean it i can just wash out the little area and then put it back where this one the toilet water is going to be on the floor so i'm not sure that i love this one it comes with a little sticky pad that you can stick it to the wall this one does have a little brush the other one does not have that I'm gonna try to figure out something that I can put in here because there's actually a lip in here and I'm hoping, since this comes out, I'm hoping that I can find something to put down in there so that way I can try to keep this contained. Otherwise, it's a lot like the one that I have, except for this. Now these were super cheap, they're little things that you can put like on your keys or different items. So you can find them when you lose them. They're like 89 cents a piece. You have to download this app and I wasn't a fan of the app because it was kind of in Chinese or Japanese or something. So some of the stuff you don't know what it says, but it does work. If you get your app on your phone and you press the to find it, this will beep, and you can even press this and it will find your phone as well. So it's a dual thing. I mean, I think it worked, but I don't like the app. Now this, I really like, you can cut this to different size strips and then you can take it and put it around cords or things to hold them together. I hate almost nothing for this. I think it was at the time that I'm gonna give you prices on these, but Timu prices change constantly. But I paid 10 cents for this huge roll of this. I think that is like a really good deal. I got the green because it was the cheapest. They had other colors, but I thought, you know what? I don't care as long as it works and holds my cords together. It doesn't really matter the color. So I'm going to be using this a lot. I really think for the price, nine cents, you can't beat. 
Now this is a little silicone spatula and you can get these at the Dollar Tree, but they're $1.25 and I only paid 89 cents for this. It's flexible, it's good for getting done in jars and getting extra stuff out. For 89 cents, I really don't think you could go wrong on this. Now I will leave links in the description box to everything that I talk about today. So if you're interested in getting something, you can use that link. This here was a motion stripped LED light. I really thought that this was going to be better. This was $3.99 for this little piece. You can stick this on the wall and then it's magnetic to it. It magnetizes to it. This was very small for the price. In the pictures, and I'll put a picture of what, it looks like it's really long. I got this little short bitty one for $3.99. Now this next thing, I have been really wanting one of these. It has a magnet on it so you can stick it on your fridge or something. It's super small and you can seal a bag with it. The only negative that I have to this, it's hard to grab the bag and pull it through it. If you sit it down, you can press and pull, but you have to, I don't know, I had to go to two different directions because you couldn't start at the beginning and pull it through. It does work and it works really well. I was shocked I sealed a bag with it and you couldn't even pull the bag apart where I sealed it. So it completely sealed that bag. Now I don't know that I would trust liquids in it, just, you know, me. Just, you know, I'm gonna say that right up front. This was $1.69 and I really think for $1.69 this was a good deal. I got this storage box and it has little wheels on it. This is going to be perfect for like up under a sink or something. Just because of the length of it, you could stack up all kinds of different cleaners and everything in it. And then it has the little wheels so it will roll in and out really easy. This was $5.39. It's made very well. And I was really shocked how good this was for the price because I thought this was going to be flimsy, but it is not. I got these dishcloths. They were a dollar and nine for 10 of them. I think these are gonna be great for like dusting. I even think washing dishes and stuff and being the fact that you get 10 of them for a dollar and nine cents, they're almost kind of disposable. You could use them a few times and throw them away. It says that you can put them in the dishwasher, in the dishwasher. It says that you can put them in the washing machine and clean them and then you could reuse them. I really thought these were going to be super cheaply made, but they were not. I was really shocked. The last thing that I got were these reusable lid covers. They're silicone. I bought some of these from Amazon, so that was the reason I added these, is because I wanted to see how these compared to the Amazon. Now the Amazon, I think you got like 10 or 12 of them, and this was only six. This was 99 cents for six of them. And when I bought these from Amazon, I was originally going to do a Two Cent Tuesday on them. And then I left them sitting in the cabinet and I just ended up not using them. Then one day I made something in a bowl and I'm like, I just don't want to transfer this over into something that has a lid already. I thought, wait a minute, I have those silicone things. I'll do that. Once I started using these, I use these all the time. The one that I use the most is this one. It goes like on a canned drink. So like we have like some drinks that we make. It only uses a little bit of Sprite. I put this on there and it will stay in the refrigerator for several days and not lose its fizz. So we use this one all the time and I use the other ones on all kinds of different things. I think that these, if you haven't ever gotten any of these, you will use them if you will remember that you got them. Cause that was my problem to start with. I just didn't use them cause I didn't think about it. But now I think of a lot of my bowls as totally different because I can store stuff in them as well as make stuff in them. I hope you found something from this video that you might would like. Till next time, like and subscribe.